Opening statements have been delivered in the murder trial of legendary hip-hop artist Jam Master J. And this is a case many have been waiting for for more than two decades. Fox 5's Briella Tomasetti, she is live outside the courthouse in downtown Brooklyn with what we can expect today. Good morning, Briella. Yeah, Dan and Tashani, good morning to both of you. The jury so far has heard from three police officers, uh, one crime scene investigator, and a detective who was one of the first people on the scene. The defense, though, questioned the accuracy of the witnesses and forensic evidence considering this investigation has sat in limbo for so many years. We definitely want justice. Justice is definitely due. It was an emotional day for friends, family, and fans of Run DMC's Jam Master J as opening statements began at Brooklyn Federal Court in the case dating back more than two decades. Prosecutors allege that the defendants, Carl Jordan Jr., Jam Master J's godson, and Ronald Washington, a childhood friend, ambushed the hip-hop legend back in 2002 at his recording studio over a drug deal gone wrong. They're both charged with two murder counts, one in connection with drug trafficking and another for using a gun. I'm here, ma'am, as a good friend, as a good friend of J. Master J. and part of the family. It's a sad thing that happened, you know, um, you know losing, losing him. It was a big thing, a big loss of hip hop. Assistant U.S. Attorney Miranda Gonzalez says Jam Master J, born Jason Mizell, planned to distribute a batch of cocaine in the Baltimore area, but the dealer involved in the sale refused to work with Washington, causing both defendants to be cut out of the deal. In the days leading up to his death, she adds, Mizell carried a gun for protection, but he had no time to react when Jordan fired one 40 caliber round into his head, killing him instantly. The defendants were arrested in 2020. I'm just trying to see this come to an end and see what's what. And, you know, his mother's passed, his brother's passed, his, uh, his sister's no longer here. The two defense attorneys, meanwhile, tried to raise doubts about the case held together by, quote, tape and glue, and argued that police still don't know who killed Jam Master Jay. They also urged jurors to be skeptical of witnesses who are cooperating in exchange for better deals with their own legal troubles. Jay was a positive dude. He was the type of guy that, you know, went out there and hurt anybody. And you know what? Somebody hurt him. Both men have pleaded not guilty and face at least 20 years in prison if convicted. The government has announced that it will not seek the death penalty in this case. For now, though, we're live here outside Brooklyn Federal Court. Dan Tashani, back to you. Brielle, thank you very much.